Hello everybody, this video is intended to help uh, grade uh, 12 students to write uh, an essay about persuasive advertisements. Uh, before you start writing an essay, uh, such, as, uh, such as this one, uh, you have first to give yourself five minutes just to, to think and to, to, warm, to warm up, to motivate your mind to create some ideas about this topic uh, for example if you are going to talk about uh, persuasive advertisements uh, you can create uh, three simple ideas uh, the first one as you can see in the picture you can use attractive language uh, if you look at this picture Burger King you can see some attractive languages such as actual burger uh, the second idea that you can talk about is uh, uh, the target market what the target market uh, the people you are uh, trying to convince them uh, to buy your product such as uh, you are addressing children you are addressing teenagers the third idea would be statistics try to use statistics to make your advertisement convincing and persuasive uh, now uh, if you want to start writing an essay about persuasive advertisements you have to put in mind first your introduction then uh, discussing the idea one uh, then discussing idea two then discussing idea three and at last you go to the conclusion so how can you write your introduction your introduction must include uh, three sentences at least you can write more than three sentences but I think three sentences will be enough the first sentence introduce your topic the second sentence introduce the ideas you are going to discuss later in your essay the third sentence will be why do you write this essay let's start the first sentence persuasive advertisements are the magic wand that increases the percentage of sales for products like this I introduced my topic in a sentence generally speaking persuasive advertisements require using attractive language understanding the nature of target market and using statistics so here I am going to discuss three main ideas what are they I'm going to discuss the idea of attractive language you are going to discuss the idea later this idea later attractive language then you are going to discuss target market the people you are addressing the advertisement then you are going to talk about statistics these are the three ideas you are going to discuss later in your essay the third sentence will be these few lines will show how to create persuasive advertisements to convince customers to buy a product so how how to create persuasive advertisements to convince customers to buy a product this is what we call the purpose of your essay this is your introduction your introduction will be more than uh, 50 words like this again persuasive advertisements are the magic wand that increases the percentages of sales for products generally speaking persuasive advertisements require using attractive language understanding the nature of target market and using statistics these few lines will show how to create persuasive advertisements to convince customers to buy a product then let's go to the next paragraph discuss the first idea how to discuss the first idea just write a topic sentence and explain this topic sentence like this to begin with most persuasive advertisements depend on attractive language such as actual burger or experience a new adventure such as means here you give examples you give example to show your topic 
sentence if you want to give example use the word such as for example most persuasive advertisements depend on attractive language this is the first idea to explain it I can use example such as actual burger or experience a new adventure you need more explanation to the idea so you can write two sentences two or three sentences to explain your idea in details also also is a linking word a linking word when you want to move from a sentence to another sentence you have to use a linking word also using capital letters display confidence that encourages customers to buy a product in addition okay in addition in addition also is a linking word if you want to add more information you want to add more information you can use also in addition in addition colorful capital letters attract the attention of the customers your paragraph will be like this topic sentence two sentences to explain your topic sentence in detail let's move to the second idea moreover moreover persuasive advertisements focus on the target market this is my topic sentence I am going to discuss target market then I'm going to explain this idea some readers don't understand the meaning of the word target market so you can define this word to them this this means target market this is the type of customers who are interested in the product so your topic sentence again persuasive advertisements focus on the target market my readers don't understand this definition so I have to clarify it for them this the word this refers to target market this is the type of customers who are interested in the product you can give example to show or to clarify your sentence for example the language used to address teenagers is completely different from the language used to address all people I think that's enough for one idea topic sentence and two two sentences to explain this topic sentence let's go to the last idea furthermore statistics support the validity to buy the product this is the topic sentence here I am going to talk about statistics for instance to give example to clarify my idea to clarify my topic sentence for example customers buy or purchase buy or purchase buy is similar in the meaning to the word purchase but this is called restatement you can use two words which have similar meaning to clarify the meaning or to clarify your sentence to make your sentence more under understandable for, for instance customers buy or purchase the product if 90% of people use it in addition famous movie star famous movie famous movie stars not a star famous movie stars sorry famous movie famous movie famous movie stars urge fans fans of the famous movie stars to use the same product like this you reach the end of your essay so you are going to write a conclusion what is the conclusion the conclusion is the same as the introduction but in other words uh, this is what we say uh, uh, using the same idea but in different words in conclusion catch lines catch lines which I uh, told you before this is uh, this is a catch line if you go to the beginning catch line means using attractive language so I use another word for using attractive language I use this word catch lines addressing the right target 
this is what I called before target market and using figures figures means statistics so the conclusion is the same uh, is the same as the introduction but in different words again in conclusion catch line addressing the right target and using figures make advertisements convincing at the end of your essay you can add a recommendation can add your opinion you can give advice uh, like this it is recommended this means you recommend the reader don't say I recommend you no it's better not to use I you um, these pronouns but you have to say it is recommended it is recommended to bear in mind how customers think to increase sales how to bear in mind how customers think to increase sales of products like this you have an essay about a persuasive about persuasive uh, advertisement this can help grade 11 to write an essay like this if it comes in the exam if you like this video please subscribe and click like